Welcome to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 126. I want to encourage you today from Ephesians chapter 6 to stand strong. In all that you go through, stand strong. In his closing remarks, in his letter to the Ephesian church, the Apostle Paul makes this appeal. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Be strong translated actually means be strengthened. As stated in the New English translation where it says, finally be strengthened in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Paul had been teaching the Ephesians about the high calling of God in Christ Jesus and the life that flows from it. He outlined the standards of this life for believers individually, for fellowship within the Christian community, and for a more intimate family relationship within the home. Paul reminded believers then and he's reminding them now that the Christian life means participation in a spiritual battle. From his own experience, Paul knew the opposition was real and the warfare was intense. He wrote, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, Put on the full armor of God so that when the days of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand. This is something my mom encouraged me a lot in. We are engaged in an ongoing spiritual battle with the powers of darkness. They cannot withstand the power of God. To be strong in the Lord and the power of his might is vital to live in a victorious Christian life. The believer's empowerment comes from being in Christ. Apart from him, we can do nothing. But in Christ, we have at our disposal all the strength of his might. Through the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, the Lord's power makes us able or capable he strengthens us with everything we need for this task. In Ephesians chapter 6, it lets us know how the Lord equips us for ongoing spiritual warfare with the full armor of God. In 2 Corinthians 13, 4, For he was crucified in weakness, but lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we will live with him by the power of God. And I will close with this today. When we are weak in ourselves, we are strong in the Lord because God's strength becomes evident. To be strong in the Lord means to be in spiritual union with Christ. Only then can we experience both the weakness of the cross and the power of the resurrection. Stand strong. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, like the show, and share it with someone else. Don't keep it to yourself. Share the wealth. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next podcast. Be blessed. Yeah.